Hey guys, it's Vinny from JTech. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a uh, torque converter. So, we've got a few different pieces here. Uh, this right here is the impeller. As you can see, it's kind of notched. So when you put it around the uh, input shaft, you got to spin it a little bit. Get it down. So, basically you got these fins right here. And they're going to push on the turbine fins. Which is going to spin the transmission. So as you can see, it's spawned to the input shaft. This is not spawned to the input shaft. So it's going to spin that. It's going to spin the transmission. And the way it does that is you have this stator right here. Um, slides in like this. If I get it on. There it is. So if you look, it only spins one direction. So it can't free spin, so it forces the fluid to go through the impeller, which is how it spins the turbine. So next thing that goes on is your turbine. You can see it's got uh, angled fins just like the uh, impeller. piston and uh, your action plate. So when the uh, vehicle gets up to high speeds, this piston is going to uh, put friction on this friction disc and it's going to bolt straight to the other side and it's uh, so it's not going to be a liquid clutch anymore, it's a solid clutch and you get all of 100% of the torque. So then this just slides off. As you can see, this bolts to the flywheel, which bolts straight to the other side of the case. So when the friction disc is uh, pushing against the cover, it's all you're getting all your torque. All right, guys, thanks for watching.